Imagine a two-wheeled wonder, a marvel of human ingenuity carving its path through the rough terrains of Africa. No, it's not a motorcycle. It's the Chukudu wooden scooter. Let's travel to the heart of Africa, the Democratic Republic of Congo, where an ordinary piece of wood transforms into an extraordinary mode of transportation. Known locally as the Congo's wooden bike, the Chukudu is an unseen marvel of transportation that has become an integral part of the everyday life. Constructed from simple, locally sourced materials, the Chukudu is a testament to the ingenious resourcefulness of the Congolese people. It is a two-wheeled scooter, built mainly from wood, with a few metal parts for reinforcement. The front wheel is expertly crafted to pivot, allowing for control and maneuverability, while the back wheel is fixed, providing stability. Its elongated design, often reaching up to six feet in length, and a cargo capacity of up to 800 pounds, make it perfect for transporting goods across long distances. Despite its seemingly simple design, the Chukudu is a marvel of durability. It is built to last, to withstand the harshest of environments, and to conquer the most challenging terrains. From muddy paths to rocky roads, the Chukudu is a reliable companion on the journey. But the Chukudu is more than just a mode of transportation. It represents the unyielding spirit of the Congolese people. It is a symbol of their resilience, their ability to create and innovate in the face of adversity. In a region where modern transportation is often a luxury, the Chukudu is a lifeline, a workhorse, an indispensable tool for survival. The Chukudu is a testament to the power of simplicity. It is a reminder that even in a world dominated by technology and complexity, there is still room for simplicity, for the basics, for the handmade. It is a celebration of human ingenuity, of our ability to adapt, to create, to overcome, yeah, this is a uh, chukudu. Uh -huh. It's a wooden bike, uh -huh. a scooter. Yeah, we use it to carry bags, but also for, for transport for moving. This seemingly simple wooden scooter is more than meets the eye. It is a testament to human resilience and resourcefulness. The creation of a chukudu is a labor of love, requiring skill, patience, and a deep understanding of the terrain. This humble wooden scooter, so integral to daily life in many parts of the world, does not come into being by chance. It all begins with the careful selection of wood. Not just any wood will do. It needs to be strong, durable, yet light enough to be maneuvered easily. The wood chosen is often reflective of the local flora, making each chukudu a unique piece of its geographical origin. Once the wood is chosen, the real work begins. The crafting of a chukudu demands the precision of a surgeon and the vision of an artist. Using simple tools, often a machete, a hammer, and a handful of nails, the craftsman painstakingly shapes the wood. Each cut, each nick, each groove is deliberate and serves a purpose. Slowly, the wood starts to take form. A sturdy deck, a pair of robust handles, and two resilient wheels emerge from the seemingly ordinary block of wood. The craftsman's deft touch and keen eye for detail ensure that the final product is not just functional, but also aesthetically pleasing. But what truly sets each chukudu apart is the personal touch of its maker. No two chukudus are the same. Each bears the distinct imprint of its creator, from the choice of wood to the design and finishing. The uniqueness of each chukudu is a testament to the individuality and creativity of its maker. Yet, the chukudu is more than just a wooden scooter. It's a symbol of resilience and ingenuity, it's a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and overcome. It's a lifeline for many, providing a means of transportation in areas where modern vehicles are a luxury. The creation of a chukudu is not just about crafting a vehicle, it's about crafting a lifeline. It's about creating something out of nothing, using what's available and making it work. It's about survival and resilience, and above all, it's about the enduring human spirit. The chukudu is not just a mode of transportation, it's a symbol of resilience, a beacon of hope, and an economic lifeline for many. In the heart of the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Chukudu plays a vital role in the day-to-day -day life of many Congolese people. In areas where modern vehicles are hindered by rugged terrain and unreliable roads, the Chukudu emerges as a reliable and efficient means of transportation. It's a sight to behold as these two-wheeled wooden scooters, often loaded with goods to the brim, navigate through steep hills and rocky paths with an ease that defies logic. But the Chukudu is not just about transportation. 
It's a lifeline that keeps the pulse of local economies beating. In a country where employment opportunities are often scarce, these wooden scooters offer a source of income for many. Some use their chikudus to transport goods from rural farms to bustling markets, while others run delivery services, ensuring that essential supplies reach their destinations. If you wander through the streets of Goma or any other Congolese city, you'll find Chikudu rental services. These humble scooters are rented out by the hour or by the day, providing an additional income stream for their owners. It's an entrepreneurial spirit born out of necessity and shaped by the unique challenges of the region. The Chikudu also serves a social function. It's an equalizer, a common denominator that cuts across social classes. Whether you're a farmer, a trader, or a student, the Chikudu is a tool that enables you to navigate the often unpredictable landscape of Congolese life. Beyond its practical applications, the Chukudu has become a symbol of Congolese resilience and ingenuity. It's a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and thrive amidst adversity. And it's a vivid reminder of how simple solutions often hold the key to complex problems. The Chukudu is more than a wooden scooter. It's a vehicle of change, driving the economy and shaping lives. Like any innovation, the Chikudu faces its share of challenges, but its future looks promising. The Chikudu, despite its practicality and cultural significance, grapples with issues of recognition. Often overlooked as a mere tool of the poor, its potential as an eco-friendly mode of transportation is yet to be fully realized. Then, there are regulatory challenges. The Chikudu operates in a gray area of transportation laws, not quite fitting into the categories defined by conventional systems. This lack of legal clarity can sometimes lead to conflicts with law enforcement, creating an uncertain environment for Chukudu users and makers. Safety concerns also pose a significant challenge. The Chukudu, built with rudimentary tools and materials, lacks the standard safety features found in modern vehicles. This can make it risky, especially when used on busy roads and steep terrains. But don't let these challenges paint a bleak picture. The story of the Chikudu is one of resilience and innovation, and the same spirit is being applied to overcome these hurdles. Efforts are underway to get the Chikudu recognized as a legitimate form of transportation, with advocates pushing for its inclusion in transportation policies and city planning. Moreover, initiatives are in place to improve the safety standards of the Chikudu. Workshops are being organized to train builders in improved construction techniques while also educating users on safe driving practices. The Chukudu is also finding acceptance beyond the borders of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Other African nations are embracing this ingenious vehicle, seeing it as a solution to their transportation needs. This growing popularity is helping to elevate the status of the Chukudu, turning it from a symbol of poverty into a symbol of resourcefulness and resilience. The journey of the Chukudu is a testament to the power of human resilience and resourcefulness. It's a journey that continues to inspire and amaze. The Chukudu is not just a wooden scooter, it's a symbol of human resilience and resourcefulness. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Congolese people, who amidst challenges have found a way to keep their society moving, literally and figuratively. Let's take a quick journey back through what we've explored thus far. We've delved into the meticulous craftsmanship that goes into making each chikudu. From sourcing local wood to the painstaking process of carving, assembly, and finishing, it's a labor of love, a testament to the skills passed down generations. We've also seen how the chikudu has become an economic lifeline, a workhorse of trade, carrying goods and people across the hilly terrains of the Congo. It's the unsung hero of the Congolese economy a wooden device that carries the weight of livelihoods on its sturdy frame. Moreover, we've considered the challenges that the Chukudu faces. From the threat of more modern transportation methods, to the scarcity of materials and the physical demands on the riders. Yet, the Chukudu endures, its riders adapting, innovating, and persisting. The future of the Chukudu, like the people who rely on it, is one of resilience and resourcefulness. There's potential for further innovation, for adaptations that make it even more efficient, more durable, and more integral to the Congolese way of life. The Chukudu is more than just a wooden scooter. 
It's a symbol of a society that refuses to be stopped by adversity. It's an embodiment of the human capacity to adapt, to innovate, and to make the most of what's available. It's an example of how something simple can have profound impacts on a society. Next time you think of innovation, remember the Chukudu, a simple wooden scooter, carving its path through the rough terrains of Africa, changing lives, and shaping an economy. It's the unseen marvel of transportation.